Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Well, the Drake Passage has roared with seismic fury on August 22nd today, which is Friday. There was a magnitude 7.5 earthquake which struck shaking Antarctica and sparking tsunami fears with false rumbling. Uh, yeah, is this a prelude to chaos, something even bigger? Um, I'm going to dive into what's going on here. Uh, that's rocking the southern ocean. The USGS reported a magnitude 7.5 earthquake at 2.16 universal time or 10.16 p.m. late last night eastern daylight time. This is the southern Drake Passage. It's 258 kilometers from Antarctica or about 160 miles and 707 kilometers South southeast of Tolomon, Argentina, which would be about 437 um, miles, and it was only 10.8 kilometers in depth, which would be about six miles. This shallow quake is part of the Shackleton fracture zone and was felt in Brazil and Argentina with 11 reports, and it did trigger a minor structural damage and a temporary uh, tsunami warning for Chile's Antarctica base. Yeah, so they got some damage somewhere over here. Let me bring this out. Yeah, I'll have to look up where their um, base is there in Antarctica. But here is the Shackleton Fracture Zone. And I got to draw out the direction that it actually moves. You can see the little arrows. And it was on um, the south side of this fault zone. This earthquake is the strongest in the region since 1900. Can you believe that? Yeah, things are definitely changing here on Earth. I hope everyone is preparing. Earthquakes are getting stronger and more numerous. Yeah, in numbers. There was also a magnitude 4.9 real close to it. I got it drawn out with the the uh, blue little pin there you can see here there's actually been six earthquakes within this location the most recent um, a 4.8 10 kilometers in depth I'll light that one up um, a 4.9 closer to the 7.5 we also got for the same location a 5.0 and a 5.1 and then prior to this in that other location a 4.7 along the same fault zone so they are reporting minor structural damage cracked walls at base Pratt and O'Higgins research station in Antarctica so I'm gonna see if Google Earth will take me there to the uh, Pratt base in Antarctica okay I'm gonna mark that right there okay hold on well, I didn't put it in the exact spot, but we're going to bring it out so I can see where that base is at in comparison to where this earthquake occurred. Okay. It's south of the South Shetland Trough along this small group of islands. And let's see if I can find the other base. Actually, the uh, research station, O'Higgins. Okay, it's a little farther. Right there. All right, let's zoom in. And I'll mark that one, too. It looks like there's other bases and other research stations between here and there. So I don't know why they had only those two stations that were reported. Yeah, see, we got the uh, Juan Carlos Antarctic Base, um, a Carlin Base. You can maybe see him here. Uh, Dr. Gullermo Man Base. Yeah, I, I imagine they probably have damage too. I would think. Now, the Drake Passage does experience between 10 to 20 magnitude 5 earthquakes a year. And a magnitude 7 or greater is definitely a rare event. This is what they call a transform fault system within the Scotia Plate connecting the South Shetland Trench to the South American Plate. And they, they figured that this 
7.5 is likely on a shallow transform segment. Now normally there's only a 5 to 10 percent chance of a magnitude 7 or greater within a hundred years. Well yeah it hasn't been a hundred years since the last one and large quakes do pose a danger especially for tsunamis for these stations down here. Yep yep so often when I see earthquakes here I keep noting and, and wondering where you know it's gonna happen next. Let me bring this out because you can see this whole Scotia plate and how it's moving. It makes me wonder how, um, yeah, the movement in such an area would affect maybe earthquakes occurring, large earthquakes occurring in other parts of the world. I think the last time I took note, um, we ended up having earthquakes, large earthquakes up there in Russia, which are still ongoing. I could be wrong about that, but that's my recollection. So, okay, uh, up over here. Okay, oops, let me bring it back out. Um, in 1949, there was a 7.7, .7, which was downgraded to a, a 7.6. And then in 2013, there was a 7.0. So, seeing how we're only supposed to have them once every 100 years, you can see how everything is changing. Yeah, as our Earth magnetic field gets weaker and weaker. And a lot of people speculate, you know, because we had that coronal hole that passed by and um, bombarded the Earth that we would have large earthquakes. Or it could be because of um, that mysterious object that is flying by currently behind the sun. Um, I, or is it 3i Atlas? Um, yeah, that might have something to do with what's going on with all these recent weird events yeah that's a really strange thing and and what it's doing so what are your thoughts put your comments down below yeah no damage reported for Argentina thank God and thank God supposedly no one was hurt in any of these stations down down there by Antarctica but with um, large earthquakes only supposed to happen once every hundred years and this is probably the fourth one that has occurred, you know, and we got, you know, 2013, um, 1949, 1900. Yeah, really makes you wonder. Oh, there's another one down over here, 2013, a 7.7. .7. Right there. Anyways, what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.